volume is a measurement of three-dimensional shapes. You cannot find the volume of a two-dimensional or flat shape. Volume is calculated using three-dimensional shapes only. Some examples of some of the three-dimensional shapes are here on the board behind me. So some of our three-dimensional shapes would be a cylinder, for example, a triangular prism, a cube, or a cuboid. Volume measures the space inside of our three-dimensional shapes. In this video, we are going to learn to calculate the volume of a cube or a cuboid. Remember that the difference between a cube and a cuboid is that the sides of a cuboid are not all the same length. So you can see in this cuboid, we have a square here at this end of the shape where these two sides are the same, but then this side here is longer than these two. So in a cuboid, all the sides are not the same shape. However, in, this, in a cube, all the sides of a cube, all the measurements of the edges of the cube and the sides are all exactly the same length. The general formula for calculating the volume of a cube or cuboid is that volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Length times width times height. So the volume of a cube with a length of one inch, a width of one inch, and a height of one inch would look like this. Volume would be one inch times one inch times one inch. And we would write the answer to that then as one times one times one, which equals one inch cubed. And we would say then that the volume of a one inch by one inch by one inch cube would be one cubic inch or one inch cubed. Notice how we write the unit of the volume. We need to make sure when we're writing the unit of measurement of the volume that a three is written as the superscript of inches. So this number that we put here where we usually have like our exponent, for example, the small number written up to the right and high with a small number, we call that a superscript. And with volume, we want to make sure that whatever our unit of measure is, we have a three here in the superscript to indicate that we're measuring the space inside of our three-dimensional object, and it has to be cubed. So if, for example, the sides of this cube were each one meter long, the volume would be written as one meter cubed. The volume of any solid is equal to the number of one by one by one cubes that will fit inside of it. So let's take a look at an example of looking at how many one by one by one cubes fit inside of a three-dimensional object. If we take a look at a cube that's just a little bit larger than our one inch by one inch by one inch cube, and we have a cube that's two inches by two inches by two inches, let's look at what happens here. We are asked here how many one cubic inch blocks can fit into a cube whose sides are each two inches. So let's divide these up into one inch measurements. So we've got one inch plus one inch this way, and then we've got one inch plus one inch this way to have a two inch measurement. And then over here, we've got one inch plus one inch this way to have a two inch measurement. And if I start to divide this up into how many one cubic inch blocks will fit in here, 
I can see that I would have in this front section here, one, two, three, four. And in this back half here, I'd have one, two, three, four more. So I would have a total of eight cubic inches, or eight one inch by one inch by one inch cube blocks fitting into this two by two by two larger uh, cube. So we would call this a volume, the space inside of this three-dimensional figure. And like we said before, the basic equation is length times width times height for the volume of these three-dimensional cubes and cuboids. And you can see that two times two times two equals eight. And the volume of this cube would be eight inches cubed or eight cubic inches. Let's look at another example. This question asks us, what is the volume of a cuboid which has the length of 12 centimeters, a width of 10 centimeters, and a height of 8 centimeters? So using our equation for finding the volume, we are simply going to multiply the length times the width times the height. So we are going to take the length of 12 centimeters, multiply that by 10 centimeters, and multiply that by 8 centimeters. So 12 times 10 times 8 equals 960. Now I want to be careful that I make sure and put my units of measure correctly in volume form, which is going to be cubed to the third power here. So volume equals 960 cubic centimeters, or 960 centimeters cubed. We can also say that there is enough space in this solid shape to fit 960 one by one by one centimeter, so a, a one centimeter cubed solid.